This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 7. The objective, multiply any whole number by a fraction using tape diagrams. The standard, 5NF4A. This is Problem 1 from Homework, 1 fourth of 24. Today I'm going to show you how to solve this problem by using a tape diagram. The first thing we need to determine is what is our whole number. Our whole number is 24. So we're going to put 24 at the top of our tape diagram. In order to find out how many parts are in our tape diagram, we're going to look at our denominator. Our denominator is 4, which is telling me that I need to partition my tape diagram into 4 equal units. Again, if I count it just like I did in my previous lesson, 1, 2, 3, 4, I know that 4 units equal my total of 24. Now the question is, how many units am I looking for? Well, I'm going to look back at my numerator. My numerator is 1, so that's telling me that I only need to find the value of 1 unit. So in order to find the value of 1 unit, I'm going to take my whole number, 24, and I'm going to divide that among how many parts I have. I have 4 parts. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So 1 unit equals 6. In order for me to figure out if that's correct and if it makes sense, I'm going to put 6 into each unit in my tape diagram. I'm going to add up each unit. I'm going to see if it equals my total. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 6 more equals 24. So 1 fourth of 24 equals 6. I'm going to show you a little trick of how to solve this problem a little quicker. We're going to change the of the word of to a multiplication sign. 1 fourth times and we're going to change our whole number to 24 over 1, which still gives us the value of 24. Now we're going to cross simplify to make our fractions a little smaller to work with. I know that, looking at 4 and 24, that 4 goes into both of these numbers. So 4 divided by 4 equals 1, and 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Now when I multiply, I multiply going across. 1 times 6 equals 6 and 1 times 1 equals 1. The value of 6 over 1 equals 6. Again, 1 fourth of 24 equals 6, and if you look at our previous problem, we also found that the 1 unit equals 6. Now, let's try one more. We have 2 thirds of 18. Again, we're going to make a tape diagram, and we need to find out what our whole number is. 2 thirds of 18. 18 is our whole number. So we're going to put 18 on top of our tape diagram, and we're going to look back at our denominator to tell how many parts we're partitioning our tape diagram into. So this is telling me that I need to partition it into three equal parts. It's close. Okay. So again, if we count them, one, two, three, we know that three units equal our total of 18, our whole number 18. But again, we need to look at our numerator to tell us how many parts they want us to find. Well, they're asking us to find two parts. So I need to find the value of these two parts. So I need to find the value of one unit before I can even begin. One unit equals our whole number of 18 divided by our parts, which are 3. And 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So I know that one unit equals 6, but if we look back at our numerator, it's telling us we need to find the value of two units. So in order to do that, I'm going to take my value of my one unit, which is six, and multiply it times two, which will give me an answer of 12. So in order for me to see if that's right, I'm going to put six into each unit. Because again, one unit equals six. But because I need to find the value of two units, six plus six does equal 12. So two thirds of 18 is 12. Now, earlier I showed you a simpler way of trying to solve this problem, changing the word of to a multiplication sign, 2 thirds times 18 over 1. Now, in order to do this problem, again, we're going to cross simplify, and we're going to look at 3 and 18. I know that 3 can go into both of these numbers. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. Now, if I multiply across, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 1 times 1 equals 1. Again, 12 over 1 equals 12. So 2 thirds of 18 
equal 12. And if we look at our previous tape diagram that we did, the value of 2 thirds of 18 was also 12.